Hey everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back uh, to Brigandine, where we are playing the Holy Gustava Empire. Um, last time we moved further into Gaimol and we were attacked by the Shinobi. We got our hands caught in the cookie jar. We've been, um, this entire time we've been questing in our defensive locations. Um, so they caught us without a full garrison and we paid the price. Ha Hazarov paid the price, actually. Um, so... It would be a shame if that big-ass dragon in the corner attacked. But it's busy with the angel, so clearly it can't it can't do anything right now. So, uh, this is as the how the map stands. Um, it's kind of interesting. Mana Silesia is, it isn't getting dogpiled, but it's, it's fighting back, and it's getting attacked here or there. Um, but it's kind of an interesting uh, little series of games. So... Um, we're good in Cornworn. We should be good in Belferim. We now have three people over there. We've got three people in Zagust. And... No, he's... Well, he's he's disabled. So, uh, Rune Knights, when they go down, uh, they are disabled for a turn. And then they are revived. I believe in the capital... Um, so it, they're basically completely out for a turn, and then they're, all you can do is move them for a turn, basically. So it takes them two turns to get back to the battlefield, um, unless you can move them to a place where they're going to get attacked. All right. Speaking of attacking, we are heading into Gargar, and this, I think, will probably be the first fight with, um... Eliza or Eliza, I'm not sure what her. Um... Oh. Okay. In. Do it. Gustava has invaded Gargar. There we go. Ooh, they've got a. She's got a. Is that a fire dragon? Oh, oh. I am excited. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go again. This is a tough place to attack, I think. If they, well, maybe not. Aha. Eliza. She looks really cool. She's a she's a former ballet dancer. She's the daughter of like the president of the republic. Yeah, she looks fucking badass. Emperor Tim. Kaiser Tim isn't any better, honestly. Just the fact that the guy's name is Tim is probably a poor plan. Did I just, like, wound myself? It's like... I might have just like cut my hand open. I'm not sure. I think my hand's not sure. Alright. Let's do it. His obsession with family blood, I'm telling you, man. It's freaky. It's so freaky. Now, if they rush up and they hold the bridge, we are very much in trouble. But if they don't, if they just sit back and they let us kind of like um, gather on this side and then push forward, we're going to demolish them. Um, so we're going to kind of see what happens. They've got a big-ass flame dragon. All right, let's take a look at them real quick. They've got uh, Diana. She is a dancer. 
Uh, got a couple of imps, some goblins, a gigas. We got the flame dragon. We've got an arch demon. Uh, we've got Eliza, the rose knight. And then we've got Conrad, who we have bested. Well, we didn't best him. He ran. Um, and he's they're mostly got chaff units, honestly. Um, let us auto and speed our way forward. And we'll see if they get if they get aggressive. Ooh, he kind of looking like he's getting aggressive. Okay. Alright. So they're definitely too close. So we're gonna have to. Oof. How do I want to do this? Do I... Do I think they will come to us? Is kind of the question. Honestly. Um, and I think... I think honestly the answer is probably yes. Like... Very rarely is the answer no. In this game. When it, when it comes to the AI being dumb. So... Um... I'm actually going to move him off to the side, just barely. i move this guy over here. There. 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 Alright, so we're going to have the dragon come in front and center. I'm actually going to put Tim on the... Uh, right side. Bring her over here. Okay. They might not move forward, but uh, we're probably just going to try to bait them. Um, and the way we're going to do that is with Mitch. Aquitas. We're going to send Aquitas out as bait. And we'll see how that works. That is, that is the... Uh, that is the issue, right? Is is don't fuck up. But I definitely could. I don't know that this is gonna work though, purely because of the amount of time it's gonna take. Because it's already so there are only twelve turns in a battle. If it gets to turn twelve and you haven't won as the attacker, you lose the fight. Um so I don't think I don't think it's going to work. Like, I think so it would take another turn. It would be turn five just to trigger them. Like, I could fly the the guy down. Then they would charge. Turn six, I'd pull him back, and they would chase. Turn seven would still be a movement turn. Turn eight would probably be actual fighting and engagement. So it would be four turns, but I don't think I would pop everyone in four. Yeah, I was going to use you as bait, but I think I I don't think it's going to work. So I think we're just going to go forward. I think we have to go forward. It's going to get this is going to get bloody, honestly. Um But I think we've got a we've got a charge and see what we can do. Fortunately, we do have a good number of flyers. So we can get a bunch of people kind of across sooner rather than later. Cool. 
Oh, speaking of which, so this is probably going to be good. We'll fly him. So he has an easier way of getting across. Um, and she can catch up because she can just cross the water very easily. Okay. Yeah, this is absolutely the right decision. If I had stayed back, it, it would have been... We might still have won, but it would have been extremely dicey on whether or not we actually finished in time. Unfortunately, now that means, though, we don't get to potentially sacrifice Mitch. So. Or Aquitas, rather. Um, so I actually don't want to move him forward, because we'll moving him forward might inside. trigger them. Yeah, there we go. Hi. Yeah. I think we're good. So I think now we progress forward and establish our, our bridgehead, basically. Um... And this is not going to be a perfect situation. But we're going to try to get as many people in as we can. Look, man, you it's just uh it's just how it is. You're a big tanky flyboy, so, you know, it's fine. Right? Right? It's fine. What are you even worried about? Like you're you're impervious, basically. Imperverless. Alright. Eliza is probably gonna start moving forward now, yep. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming he's gonna run forward. Kinda not completely. Pretty close. Is the ghoul gonna attack? The ghoul's gonna attack. Or the zombie. Or no, it's a ghoul. Ghoul versus revenant. The revenant wins. Every time. Aquitas the Bahamut is such a coward. Oh shit. Shots fired, man. Shots fired. All right. This is... This is the line. This is where... Uh, this is where we stake our claim. All right, so we're going to punch. Oh, that is actually perfect because I wanted to move the Revenant forward. So... Revenant moves forward and gets killed. Okay, okay. Guys, guys, we're on the same team here. Well, kinda. Alright, Plague Slash. Ooh, nice crit. Got that poison. Did not get the poison. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, Alright. I think we just move in at the ready. Um, and I think we actually move over. Good there. Well, we're going to move over just slightly. So we basically want to put the dragon in the center. Dragon kills the goblin. Frees up space for something else. 
gets a level. Very good. Um, Tim's gonna protect the side. We'll have uh, her come in on the river. Be peasy. We're gonna move over here. Uh, Venom Diana. Let's see if we can get a poison proc on her. We did not, unfortunately. Alright, Eliza. I'm very glad that she is slow to the fight. She could have made things way more complicated if she was right up in the thick of things from the very beginning. Um, okay, so... Actually, gonna move him over to the side. High Centaur has a very high accuracy rate. Nice. Good hit on Diana. Um, okay, so. I want to put this guy, Equitas, because he is very tanky, he's very strong, um, and he can focus a lot of hate. So I wanna put him basically right up in the center. Um, which is good. Very good. Um, ooh, I say that, but now that I think about it, um, if they come up on the left side, we're going to be pretty weak. So I'm going to pull back just slightly. And we're going to move him in. There we go. Now we've got a pretty decent line of scrimmage. Um, nice. Ghoul's going to hit back, get some life. Oh, magic resist up. That's really good that that missed. It wouldn't have, like, ended things for us, but it would have definitely made things more difficult. Oh, a Venom from the Dancer. She says, two can play that game. All right, all right. Lantis gained 47 experience. All right. <laughs> Calm it down with the silences. <laughs> you guys are kind of worrying me over there. Okay. Um, Olsen is going to um, Falcon Punch uh, Conrad. Because Conrad has a bunch of units, and I would rather... Honestly, I'd rather just burn them down. Or burn him down than deal with them. Fucking hell, that's a big ass hit. Holy shit, Conrad. Or fucking Alsen. Alsen's so fucking strong. Okay, so. If we venom him, we'll drop him to 72. Can we curse him? That'll kill him. Um, I would rather not kill him with her. I would rather kill them with Galwell. Galwell does 95 damage, so if we Venom first, uh, we should be able to kill with Galwell, as long as he doesn't do a block. Uh, which is possible. Uh, we'll see. Alright. Kill, Drain Touch. He did a block! Damn it! Damn it! You son of a bitch! You son of a fucking bitch! Alright. Well, we'll heal Galwell. I'm not really worried about him dying or anything like that, but now we don't get the easy kill. And can, can Jay make it over there? No, Jay can't make it over there. Okay. So, uh, Jay... Probably gonna despair wave, actually. Um, oh, oh, Jay, Jay can steal it. Jay can steal it. Despair wave from the Goblin Knight takes it. 
Take it away, Goblin Knight. Good job. Good job. Very good. Fucking awesome. You gained a thousand experience. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Okay, and we got two free unicorns out of the deal. Nice. Um, okay, I am probably going to go ahead and kill Jay, though. There's the chance that he gets focused and popped. He's a very squishy, squishy boy. We're going to have the Ice Breath go ahead and fire off. Again, probably going to focus down Diana. Um, not necessarily specifically this time. Well, I say that, but I don't really have a reason not to. Again. If the AI is going to leave themselves open like this, I might just take it. So now it's just Eliza. So she might just run? No, because she her troop is completely healthy. So she's she feels perfectly fine. And she's got powerful units, honestly. So Ooh, so this is this is we actually still need to be careful. She could kill our units. But here's the thing. Um we're probably gonna focus her specifically. Um we're pro well, I say that. We're probably gonna do this. We're probably going to try to dimension the dragon out of the way. 53% chance. That's pretty low. So we're gonna try to do it anyways. Dimension the dragon. All uh, right, fantastic. So what we're doing here is we're trying to kill Eliza while the fire dragon is outside of her zone of control because what that does is it increases our chances of capturing the fire dragon. So now we're just going to dogpile Eliza and see how that goes. So killer shot. She's pretty, she's a level 20. She's pretty good. This is going to be, this is still going to be difficult. All right. We'll just do a straight frost on her. Okay, so that actually hits pretty hard because she's mostly fire. Good, good. Nice job, Ginger. Uh, let's try to silence. I didn't actually check the... Ooh, nice. Very nice. Good job. So, we're going to move... Probably all the way over on this side. And attack. Very good. Damn, she hits hard. Okay, so we will do a Venom. Very good. And we will move Alsen in. Alsen is going to have a very good chance of just demolishing her, leaving her at 4 HP, which I'm pretty sure we're just going to give the kill to Jay again. Oh, I would give it to Galwell, but uh, I don't think we can get we can get Galwell in if we move Jay. Gabo squad of one. You know what? That's a good point. We're gonna give it to Jay. Um, it's good. Good thing you have a hundred percent chance to hit her. I'll be stronger next time. All right, if you say so. And experience. 
And the fire dragon failed to escape. Free fire dragon, boys. Woohoo! Hell yeah! Nice! That's that's some nice shit right there. And that is why, as you said, Dimension is probably the best spell in the game. Aside from Meteor Doom. Because Meteor Doom is Meteor Doom, so... You know. Alright. Tim kicking ass. Taking names. And Lantis is level 20. And he's still just okay. <laughs> fucking Goblin Knights. If only they had a tier 3 fucking unit. They, they should have like, gob the Goblin King should be like a tier 3 unit. But they don't. They just have Goblins and Goblin Knights. And it makes me very sad. I don't know why there are any units in this game that only have two tiers. But there are several. It's something I didn't like about the first game, and it's something I still don't like about the second game. That was a fun fight, though. Fun fight. Gustava has a par occupied Gargar. Mana Silesia is attacking Gustava, or uh, Gamol. And one, though they lost their Selena. Gaimol is getting smaller and smaller. Oh, we got the capital, so we get a restored page. Awesome. The Zarun Knights. The Holy Gustava Empire called its warriors Zorun Knights and set them apart from the Rune Knights of other nations. Still, just like the Rune Knights, they would bask in mana energy and were gifted with incredible knowledge and abilities. Recognizing the deep bond that their founder, Sen Gustav, shared with the beast Zor, the people of the Empire generally believed that the Rune God's power was inferior to that of their guardian deity, Zor. Thus, the title of Zorun Knight became widely used by all. So these are the little tidbits of history and backstory that we keep getting. Which is pretty sweet. Leather robe. Go. Adamant band, which is awesome. Um, but, again... We've got the little uh, knight on icon, so I think Finral found another rune knight for us, which is so cool. Oof. A new knight has been recruited. Fuck yeah. We are just on the ball. I was having a really bad time with getting rune knights, but now we're just getting them hand over fist. One, not one day walking through a town, Finral heard a joyful tune drifting on the breeze. Are we getting a bard? Ooh, it'd be nice to get a bard. Be deaf or something? Stop it with the racket already. Now, instead of using those fingers for music, how about use them to give me your money? Uh-oh. Oh, she looks cool. Kara. I like her hat. Turning to look down the alley, the young lady began to play a different tune. One that did not fit the seriousness of the situation at all. What did I just tell you? Hand over your money or I'll... She's gonna zap him, isn't she? <laughs> yep. <laughs> she just fucking smacked him in the face. Clearly, this was no ordinary ruin woman. She clearly possessed the powers of a rune knight, having infused her music with mana. Finral approached to speak with her. Time, a time for thieving, a time for. She's got a cool voice. やりたいことをやるんだってね。だからね。私もそうしてるんだ。あんた。私を目片しはこいつら悪と見。復讐の旅をしてんのさ。どこかのか。なんだよ。あんたには分かるはずもないよ。
他人の幸せを踏みにじって、妬みを切る、そんな歌を憎んだ私に、歌を操るマラの力がもたらされたんだから。Also. One of the most dressed females. You are correct. Well, yeah, gotta pop the cleavage. That's such a weak ass fucking argument. You know what a better re what's better than revenge? Making people happy. Actually, I'm I'm kind of surprised, but here's the thing. I am surprised that she's wearing a quote-unquote bra, because from what we've seen of the others, there just wouldn't be anything. But if if we actually look look at the art, it looks like that was just added afterwards. Like someone was like, hmm, looks like she needs a little more. And then they were like, huh, give her a little black bra that's not actually covering the entirety of her boobs. Whatever. I don't care. We're gonna get her. I'm happy. Still refuse to be tied down. We'll see a sunny outlook on your life. Right? Kara. Kara. All right. We are getting uh, we're getting room nights left and right. This is awesome. Let's take a look at Kara. So she is level three. She's very low level. Goodness gracious. And it shows, because she does not have much ruin power. Um, okay. Uh, she is a bard, which is cool. Um, I say is cool, but really... Low level bard doesn't really have much. They're like, uh, they're they're just like imps. This bard travels from place to place. Pirates once stole from her when she was young, and the song they sang as they did so has tormented her for years. She grows up with this pain in her heart and awakens to her mana powers, which are ironically related to songs as well. After that, she embarks on a journey to punish evildoers, but encounters a knight who changes her fate. In order to ascertain whether her songs are for strengthening or stealing, she chooses to fight on the battlefield. So what we're going to do with her is we're actually just going to load her up with the fire dragon and the unicorn. And then we are going to send her up to Cornworn. So that basically she's ferrying the dragon up there for us. Um, in the meantime, did we have any class ups? We have no class ups. Um, we had some items. We got some new items. Let's take a look at what we got. We got a leather robe, so that can go on someone. Steel helm, silver wand. We got something big. Yeah, we got this, the adamantine band. It is 10 defense and 30% magic resistance. Holy cow. And that can go on pretty much anyone. Pretty much anyone. You know who I think that goes on? I think that goes on Aquitas. Adamantine Band. Hell yeah. So I know the leather robe is new. Do we have any robe people? I don't know that we're going to use Kara. Let's head up to Cornworn real quick. We're probably going to use Fenrir.
All right. Um, okay, so we need to check uh, fucking proficiencies. Real quick. So Ginger is very close. She needs one more level before she um, finishes in Cleric and can go to her next Sorcerer class, which is cool. Can we fit a... No, we can't. We cannot. Okay, so proficiencies here. It looks like Seth can go to a different one. Rinsei can go to a different one. So we probably do them both. All right, so he is a swordsman, um, but he's got pretty open stats, actually. That's interesting. He can do kind of whatever he wants. Huh. Is there any reason to, like... Swordsman Mage. I don't think so. Power and Excel. That actually would allow them, but at that point you just pair him with a mage. You don't like make him do the ma magic himself. I don't. Th I don't think that makes any sense. So, um, accuracy up. From the monk could be good. Night Mitch. So Swordsman gets critical hit rate. And they have HP recover, but you lose it if you lose if you leave the um, fighter section, basically. Sidestep S. 50% chance of dodging bow attacks. 15% crit rate and 3% health. That's interesting. I don't know if that's super cool, but I, I mean, it's, it, it is cool. I don't know if it's super useful. Um, so, in theory, we could get him to... What, we could get him to a Berserker? We could get up Counter Damage A. Um, or we could get him to... Keep hitting goddamn B. We could get him to a Ranger. Which would get him... Uh, double Movement. Which would be really good. And Evasion D, which would actually be really good. Am I more interested in Barbarian? Am I more interested in counter damage or evasion? Let's do let's do Seth the evasion route. Um so we'll turn him into a thief. Cool. And Rinsei. We'll have Rinsei kind of be a barbarian. It's fine. Says a decent amount of already. I kind of like the accuracy, truth be told. Let's say, let's have him go the monk route. All right, Tomas is fine. Oh, 
Um, what's his face is still there. What do we have here. Oh, we have a goblin there. Cool. So Belfram. All right, what's his face is back. What's his face? Uh, Hazarov is back. Um, so unit wise, we are good there. Which means we can start sending Lenora on quests again. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quest with Sylvie. And it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's any good, but I'm just curious, right? I'm just curious to see if something happens. So we're going to quest with Sylvie and we're going to move Lenora over to Zagust as backup, right? Um, Belferum will be fine. Um, it's perfectly supported by other people. Um, we've got... To check troop options here. Looks like we're mostly okay as far as actual troops go. Yeah, looks like we're pretty good. Thief, Minstrel, Swordsman, Monk... And we've got a bard incoming. Um, and then we've got this guy. Gaspar. Um, he's gonna he's gonna look for a fucking person. He can't find. Um I think I think we might not have Ta no, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna wait. So if we're gonna wait, we quest, and if we quest, we look for the people that have the best chance of success, which is pretty much only Finral, I think. It's pretty much only Finral. Mm, that's fine. We'll have Seth go to the training grounds, and we'll have uh, Tomas go to the training grounds. So that should be fine. Uh, we'll have Iona and Rensei along with uh, What's Her Butt, uh, ready and capable of defending. Save real quick. All right, let's see how this goes. So we are going to attack once more into the breach. We are attacking Meraniel. Eomol is just dropping. You know what? I don't have a reason to not attack Garwellen. Attack Garwellen. You attacked me, it's time for us to come back at you. Not a very good setup, so I don't know that this is gonna work out very well, but we're gonna try it. We're attacking in Garwellen. Uh, we're not gonna attack in Hornworn, we're gonna hold. Um, and I think that's it. Let's go. Invasion. Perennial. Let's do this. Now, this is going to basically be, uh, whatever, a wash. Finally follow your brigandine and now it has led you to a battle you cannot win! I shall show you what true strength is. I hate him. This guy looks pretty cool. This is a Barret, I think. Yeah, he's got the ears of a Barret. I wonder if... 
I wonder if Darian is uh, Seth's missing buddy. Let's check his profile. This resilient and highly skilled Blackbird Knight is a member of the Barretts. Abducted from the autonomous region of Almera as a child, he was trained to be a docile and loyal soldier. The Blackbird unit is made of Barret fighters and is a vital military asset to the Pub Republic of Gamol. Unlike the other Barret fairies, Darien exhibits exceptional musical talent. The melodies he performs on the Valero are full of a gentle melancholy. Feelings he bears for his people, and they resonate deeply with Eliza. He seems cool. Yeah, he does. He seems kick-ass. Got fucking dope-ass art. All right, who else do we have? We have... Ah, it's Avenir. Avenir we've seen a time or two. Citizens have strong trust in this amicable and kind Mohana priest in charge of guiding lost sheep back into the fold. Beneath that facade, however, hides a man who manages the dark side of the country's council. In order to maintain the Blackbird unit, for example, he kidnaps Barrett fairy children and throws them into orphanages for indoctrination. Okay, so we fucking hate this piece of shit. Jesus Christ. He was once a soft-hearted priest, but something has since warped his mind. He now freely expresses his cruel side by reveling in his enemy's anguish on the battlefield. Okay, so there's clearly a dark underbelly to Gimol that we need to excise. Maybe, maybe at the end of the day, right? Maybe at the end of the day, the Gustava Holy Empire is actually not the baddies. Maybe we're, we're shitty, right? We're assholes, we're crappy people. But we're not the baddies. You know? Don't quote me on that yet, though, because the jury's still out. Ooh, hold up. He's just charging us. All right, so we're going to put him here. Uh, Goblin Knights are actually better in the forest, so they get bonus to evade and attack. So we'll do that. We're actually gonna out in front just a, just a tad. Oh, right into that center. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, bo boy. You were supposed to dodge, Plantis. I put you in the woods so you could dodge. May you ever dodge. Jeez. I think overall that's a big difference. <laughs> uh, okay, Piccolo. I think that's a big difference between Runercia so far and Forsena. The hit rates in uh, Forsena were... There were a lot of units with significantly lower hit rates. Um, generally speaking, the hit rates in Runercia tend to be pretty calm. Pretty, like, stable, so. Probably gonna curse, uh, this guy. Look 
りなく間合いを測るのだ終わりだ Nice, also an actual g e t a level. I think 79 puts him in kill range for Lantus. Yes, it does. Just barely, actually. But it does. Cool. We definitely want to heal. Almost, like, potentially we might heal him twice. Don't think so, but something I c o n s i d e r Momentarily. We're gonna attack him. He's gonna hurt us. Gonna suck. But we're just gonna turn around and heal. Very nice. Okay. Probably gonna icy breath. Good solid hit. Both. Gravity or venom, probably. On the guy. I don't know, we'll do it on the,、uh, the lizard man. I'm fine with kind of like taking our time here. I'm not, I don't feel super threatened. We have to be careful because he could accident, he could actually pop、um, Lantis or Dalwell.、Um, but I think we're okay. Fuck that guy up. On these fights where we kind of have the advantage, there's no real reason not to. We're gonna. We're gonna halo her. And probably have her Geno Frost. Yep. Over a thousand. Very nice. Protect. Can I try to silence him? I can. It's got a 16% chance to succeed. We're not gonna bother.、Uh, we'll just protect Galwell. Very good. Now, I think we can probably burst this、uh, Gigas down. Very nice. Yep. Tail impact. Big oof.、Um, we're actually going to move in just slightly because I'm anticipating this guy being dead. Very nice. Alright, so. Okay, he retreats. This is it.、Um, and if he's retreating, guarantee a v a n e r is retreating. That was the obvious outcome. Congratulations, Tenth. Not bad, not bad. Pretty cool, pretty cool. 
and Ginger gets level 20. <laughs> she can do Witch now. Oh my goodness, that is going to be some swank ass shit. I'm going to be very excited about that. Oh, I did that whole battle in out of battle mode. Damn it. Damn it. Damnation. My bad. That's a habit I'm going to have to form. All right. Very nicely done. Easy peasy. And we are invading Garwallen. A little bit of an advantage here as far as CP goes. Um, but this is probably going to be a pretty, pretty knockdown drag out fight. Um, and we do not have time for that on this particular episode. So I am actually going to go ahead and uh, probably close out this episode here. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.